Hey kids, welcome to Lesson 8, Boolean Expression and If Statements, number two. Just as a reminder, before this lesson, you really should watch the code.org video. You try it. This is only slightly different from the voting example you just saw in the code.org video. We're going to add an if statement to the code to check the age to see if the person is old enough to drive. In most states, like here in Ohio, you need to be 16 years or older. We want to display a message if that person is old enough to drive. You can add an if statement by dragging it out from the toolbox. We've provided the console.log message you should use. Just drag it inside the if statement. The animation shows most of what you have to do. So down here, we have pretty much our hint what to do. But instead of looking at that, let's go ahead and try to figure it out ourselves. And if we get stuck, we can always look back to that. First thing we need to do is to take a look at our code. First line here is a console.log message. It says driver verification. That means down here in the debug console, driver verification should be displayed. We have a variable age, and this is a prompt num. If you remember, prompt num brings a box up for our user to enter a number. And it looks like the prompt box will say, please enter your age. We have another console.log statement. It looks like you're old enough to drive. And yet another one, it says, thank you for verifying. These two console.log statements should be displayed down here. Our goal though, is to only display one of them if they are old enough to drive. And I think it's the second one right here. No matter what, we're gonna say driver verification and thanks for verifying because we are just nice people. Hmm, how are we gonna accomplish this? Well, I know we need an if statement. So I'm gonna take my if statement and I'm gonna drag it out right here. Like I said earlier, this console.log is gonna happen no matter what. So I'm gonna put it outside the statement. This one, says like you're old enough to drive, I'm gonna put inside. Now, what do I wanna, do I wanna verify here? How do I wanna verify? Well, it has to do with my variable age. So I'm gonna say that my age, if it's probably greater than or equal to 16, then I should display this message. If not, that's my if statement. It should just display nothing and just display these two things right here. In my math function here, I have some of my operators I can use. I don't think equal or not equal to is gonna help. And while I definitely do think greater than is a good one, we want it to be greater than and equal to. Because remember, 16 year olds can drive, not 17 and up. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna drag this in between the parentheses right there. This one is going to be age, and it is going to be greater than or equal to 16. At this point, uh, my console.log will display driver verification. We get a box that pops up to the user. If it's 16 and above, it should display this message. And this message, if it is under 16, then it should display these two messages and not our middle one. Let's test out our idea. Run. Please enter your age. Well, that's right. That's our code. Let's try getting it right. 16. Let's hit OK. There we have down here, driver verification. It looks like you're old enough to drive. Oh, thanks for verifying. That's the easy part. The hard part is how about if it is younger than? So let's say we're a 14 year old, let's hit okay. And we only get the two. Looks like our code is working properly. Younger than 16, they get a thanks for verifying. Older than 16, they get told they can drive. And I'm sure that makes everybody 16 plus very happy. That looks like all code.org wanted from us. We added an if statement and we displayed a message if the person was old enough to drive. Looking down here at the example, 
Ours looks pretty comparable to that. We're just using text-based. So let's see if code.org agrees. Yay! Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next puzzle.